Hi YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming to you today with this 1963 Avante Reggie Jackson edition by AMT. Uh, I have never seen one of these kits open yet. I, I have this one, it's sealed and it's uh, skill level 3. I'm not sure what the Reggie Jackson collector, collector series is. I didn't look anything up on this, but it. Um, it does say here that the car is molded in color, so I don't know if it's got like a separate red interior and silver body and black under chassis, but we'll see what happens here. So, all right, let's open this up and see what we got in the box. This unboxing of the 63 Avante. Okay, open that up. Now let's see what's in the box. Ooh, all right. An axle, it fell out, tire. Put that back in the box here. Here's what's here. So it's molded in a color, uh, but it's not necessarily uh, something you uh, could put together without painting. Let's get in here, open up the bag, and see what we got. Okay, so first up, we have the body here. It's got some pretty nice details on it. Uh, the labeling in the, on the, of the vehicle on the side, the badging, the word of Arte on the front here. Uh, this body is nice and straight on this. No, nothing got squished in the box. It does have opening doors. Have to cut those bars out. So it's a pretty good little, uh, pretty good casting. You say I've never seen one of these before. So, if anybody doesn't know, this car was built by Studebaker. That's the only Studebaker that actually lived on. The Avantes, I think, went into the 90s. Somebody built some versions of them. This is a 63, though. I think it's one of the prettier ones, if, if you want one. Next up, we have the interior. we got the, uh, the rear seat. Nice detail. Uh, floor pan detail. As well as the... Uh, gas brake and clutches molded in there there's probably a center uh, sort of center console that will end up on there so it's kind of a nice almost like a four bucket seat but it has a it, it is a bench in the back okay and then we have the chassis here which looks like pretty nice detail looks like typical Studebaker designs back in the day all right, it's got uh, everything, all your suspension and glues on, so it's a pretty high detail piece. What do we got here? We got one tree here that has the wheel backs, another piece of the body here. We got a uh, optional roll bar, so it looks like there's a possibility to build a race car out of this. Looks like some headers. There's the back side there, also a steering wheel. Pretty nice detail on the wheel. We have lower control arm detail, uh, some steering components. It looks like this car has posable steering as well. You got a drive shaft and the rear differential, of course. Uh, so there's that tree there. Next up, we have a parachute. If that doesn't tell you you couldn't build a race car on it. <laughs> I'm not sure if it has all the pieces to do so. We got our doors and inner door uh, panels and some seat belts and a racing harness. Looks like a couple of pins maybe for the front wheels. So there's the one side and then there's the other. Okay, here we have our engine V8, uh, oil pan, intake manifold, uh, the belt accessory drives, there's a couple of them. I'm not sure if there's one for racing or one if it uses that many. This looks like it has two Paxton style superchargers and some piping and a fan, exhaust manifolds, and of course the overflow jug. There's the back side. I had a friend who was showing me that some of these Studebakers um, had Chevy engines in them. They were 283s. 
and he also showed me a Ford transmission that bolted up to the Chevy engine that they used. But anyway, that that's I don't think that's the Avantes, but anyway. Here in this tree we have a center console and some wheel detail for the uh, like the brake setup. We have exhaust system and a hinge for the hood. Looks like a couple of pieces maybe headlight covers and some exhaust system detail. There we go. We'll flip that over. Okay. There we have the front seats which seem awkwardly small for the size of the car but nice detail on them nonetheless fan shroud radiator these look like the door hinge uh, pieces for the for the opening doors these are a couple license plates that say Avante on them got a hood here and some straps flip that over there's the underside of the hood back side of the tree there Here's another piece of exhaust system that was off of the tree. Here we have a piece of tree with probably something was on it, but there's that dashboard. So I can focus in here. You can see the uh, gauges are nice, nice detail on the gauges and all the pieces on the dash. Very nice, easy to paint that up. The chrome. Let's open that up and see what we got here. Here we have the, uh, looks like an aftermarket steering wheel, some exhaust tips, some bumper extensions, there's a bumper here, another bumper here, those stock Avante uh, wheel covers, set of valve covers here, it looks like possibly a custom grill here, stock grill that goes down below the uh, front bumper, timing cover, some more bumper pieces couple of carburetors here, an antenna, and these are the round headlights. These are the square headlights that would be on a later Avante, so maybe they uh, released this kit a few different ways. I'm not sure if you can leave a comment on that. Obviously no racing wheels or anything to make this a race car, other than some of those other components we've seen earlier. There's the back side of it there, the glass, it's that big rear window here. Here's a front windshield here. Quite a bit of distortion in this glass, but once you get it in the car, it'll probably look okay. The uh, side corner markers and headlight covers uh, for both the square and the round headlights, but obviously this is the round headlight car. That's the glass there. Here's a steel axle for the rear. I like these when I'm building a, like an old gasser or something for the front if uh, I don't have a set of tires. These are a Firestone tire. They come in a lot of uh, 60s cars, uh, AMT kits. I don't think they do this tire anymore, but anyway, this is a nice little tire. Got great tread pattern. Like I said, it's good if you're building front, front tires for race cars, but Anyway, this kit has four of them in there. Of course, here they all are. There'll be instructions and see if there's any decals or decals. I don't see any, any decals in this model at all. There's your basic instructions here, step by step. Finished model there. And there's another page to it. Talks about putting everything together. There's the chassis stuff there. Okay, so pretty straightforward. It's a meat kit. First time I've seen one open and uh, seen one even built or anything. Like I haven't seen one of these kits other than this particular one here that I have personally. The 1963 Avante by AMT. It's an older release. Um, if you see one, that's what you get in the box. If you find one that's sealed and uh, you don't know what, what you get, that's what you get. 
If you like these videos, please subscribe, hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications. Please like, share, and comment, as I always like reading the comments. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.